Okay, so the theory behind breaking a number up according to digits is based on powers of 10. So let's do an example, um, just mathematically, to try to figure out how this actually works. So I'm going to grab a pen. All right, let's say that they give us the number 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, if I want to break this apart, um, what I need to be able to do is figure out what to divide it by to get the individual digits. To be able to figure that out, I have to know how many digits it has in the first place. So if I do um, something where I keep dividing by 10, I'm actually going to be able to break this down. So let's say I'm going to divide, divide this by 10. Now, because they're both integers, I would get 1, 2, 3. The 4 is gone because it would be the point 0.4 if these were decimals, but since we've got an integer division happening, the 4 is gone. Divide by 10 again, and I've got 1, 2. Divide by 10 again, and I've got 1. Divide by 10 again, and I've got 0. Okay, check it out. I divided by 10 1, 2, 3, 4 times. There are 1, 2, 3, 4 digits. So what that means is if I can manage to get my number to become a 0, then however many times I had to divide by 10 to do that is the number of digits. So if, if I'm going to translate that into some sort of uh, like algorithm to use with code, so basically what I did inside the loop, I divided by 10 and saved that over top the value. Okay, and then I counted each time I did it, and I kept doing that um, so long as the value was greater than zero. And when it was no longer greater than zero, I stopped, and I'm left with the number of digits inside the counter. Okay, now that's nice and good. The only problem being that if I keep dividing by 10 and I keep saving that over top of my number, I will have lost my value by the time I'm done. So what I got to do beforehand is just make a copy of the variable. So as soon as I got the input from the user, I make another variable, save what they typed into that one too, so that I've got two copies of it because I want to use the copy once I figured out how many digits to work out um, what I have to do next. So that's one loop. The second loop is also going to be based on the powers of 10. So let me clear this guy off. Um, except I'm going to use the information that I got during the previous part. So let's say that we still got we've got that copy of that number now. Oops, let me switch to black pen. Clear that off. All right. One, two, three, four. All right. I have already figured out there's four digits. If I was going to do division on this guy, then I would need to divide by 1,000 to get it to give me the 1 out on screen. Okay. If I take a look at this thing, this is 10 cubed, right? So this guy is actually 10 to the power 3. Um, and how's this number right here related to our number of digits? Well, it's the number of digits minus 1. Okay. So I can print this out on the screen, get my one, my first leftmost digit. To get the rest of this guy, basically the leftovers, all I gotta do is mod this number by that same amount. And that's gonna get me two, three, four, which I should save over top of this guy so I can keep going. So if I've got two, three, four, what would I divide that by to get the two? I'd divide it by 100. And if you'll notice, this is equivalent to 10 squared, which would be the digit minus 2. So if I make this guy um, decrease, basically, I've got what I'm trying to do. And I put this out on the screen, and then how can I reduce this to 34? Well, I do modulus. And now I've got the 34. And then I can divide the 34 by 10 and get the 3, and then mod the 34 by 10 to get the 4 out and save that back over top. You get the idea as I keep reducing this. How will I know when I'm finished? Well, I will um, not have any digits left to work with, basically. So I just keep doing this until the digits run out. 
and then I will have my numbers out on the screen um, from left to right, like what you're trying to do. It's all just dependent on the power of 10. Um, hint, hint, remember you got to use this guy from the math.h library, and remember that this guy gives you back a double, but what we want to work with here is integers, so you may have to do some casting when you use this guy to force the answer to look like an integer um, to the computer.